glad we're spending Oscar Sunday together. Today's DIY isn't even remotely relevant uh, to the Oscars. It's not sparkly or red carpet worthy in any way, but it is really fun and it is super flattering and it is incredibly easy. Uh, by the way, if you are an LA local, I'm gonna be on KTLA News this morning at 10, 15 a.m. if you haven't already missed it, last minute red carpet inspired DIY ideas. Something that you could do today for an Oscars watch party you might have tonight. So if you guys uh, haven't already missed that, check that one out, it's gonna be super fun. If you're new to the channel, uh, my name's Orly. Hi. This is the DIY designer. I do super fun DIY fashion and personal style content. And really each episode of the DIY designer, I'm. I'm aiming to give you guys different tips and tricks and techniques and tools so that you can further customize your wardrobe to speak your unique style language. We each have a style language. It is how we express who we are, how we feel best in our physical appearance, and it's very unique to each of us. Knowing your style language is not only gonna make you feel much more confident in the way that you present yourself to the world, but it's really gonna be an incredible asset when DIYing, because you'll know which direction to take each DIY. If you don't know your style language yet, I have a beautiful online course called Style Language. I will link it below. It's in depth, it's beautiful, but if you wanted to binge it, you could binge through it this weekend. It's about two hours of video content, journal prompts and quizzes and Q and A's. It's really cool. So I hope you guys will check that out. You'll find it to be incredibly powerful. Okay, let's talk about today's DIY. Prada slouchy, super cool leg warmers. Leg warmers are having a total moment. They're like cool and effortless, but also kind of sexy. They lean into that sort of ballet core trend that's really big right now. I personally find this big baggy slouchy version to be really, really flattering because it creates a cool like proportion on the leg. Anywho, I love them. That's what we're gonna do. I'm very excited. Let's get started. All right, so this is actually not the sweater I'm gonna do, but if you remember from my safety pin sweater, this is why I originally bought this sweater, was for this DIY. Now, any sweater you do, whether it's this one or the one I'm about to show you, most of them are connected like this. The sleeve and the body are connected with an individual thread that is sort of wrapped around. So if you can just cut through releasing those threads, you'll end up with a clean finished like vest top and you'll end up with clean finished sleeves so that you don't end up needing to hem or sew them. So all you wanna do is flip it inside out and sort of use your thumbs to separate the two seams and it will reveal the threads to you. At that point, you can either use a seam ripper to open them or you can use scissors to snip them. But that's it, that's gonna remove the sleeves. Now, it's gonna depend on how big your sleeves are as to whether you have to do this next step or not. I tried them on and they were too slouchy. Like I wasn't able to actually get them to stay where I wanted and they were also going over the top of my foot and going underneath my heel so I would be stepping on them. So I just grabbed embroidery floss from my last hoodie sweatshirt because it was all laying there and I just did like a big loose stitch to see if it worked. I tried them on and it, it was good. So now I'm gonna actually sew it a little bit more intentionally. Now I'm using a matching thread and I'm using embroidery floss again because I'm fairly lazy and my embroidery hoodie materials were sitting right next to me. But if you have a sewing machine, this would take you 3.6 seconds to just right up the top. Now, right around this area is where I decided to get a little wider because I love how sort of full and baggy they are right at the ankle. I think it's super flattering. So I kind of curved out just a little bit for a little bit more volume. And then again, right at the very end where it's gonna go over the foot, I sort of like pulled back in a little bit so that I don't, I don't step on it. Now, once I did one loose stitch and tried them on, I went back over it to tighten the stitch. If you're hand sewing, you are gonna wanna tighten it so that it's nice and snug and you're not seeing those stitches. Now, once I did one, I had to use that as a pattern to copy the second one. So I just laid it on top, kind of drew a couple of little anchor points, and now I'm sewing this one. Same exact thing, stitching one way, then flipping, stitching the other way to tighten it up. You're just gonna cut off all of your excess, and then these are done. Just flip them inside out. If you notice any of the threads aren't tight, you can go back in and kind of tighten up any areas that your stitches were too loose. Well, that was easy. Uh, that's it, I'm gonna model these for you and show you how they look on. I gotta say, when I put them on with like a little mini skirt, I liked them so much more than I thought I was going to. I love them pulled up over the knee. I love them slouchy, like right around the calf. They're just really flattering. So I hope you guys will give this one a shot, especially because it's so easy. It's so easy. I will see you guys here next week for another DIY. I have a really cool no sew alterations style hacks video next week. So make sure that you tune in. It is so much fun and so many ways that you guys can make your clothing just perfectly sort of custom and fit to you without any sewing, without any cutting, without any gluing, without any safety pins. How? We're gonna have to wait and see.